वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल सर अब्रार अली माय नेम इज सईद अब्रार अली आई हैव एक्सपीरियंस इन फील्ड एज वेल एज टीचिंग एट वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज सो दिस चैनल इज अंडर द अम्ब्रेला ऑफ टी डी कंसल्टेंट्स विच इज अ कंपनी डीलिंग विद ऑल काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन आई टी एजुकेशन आई टी टॉपिक्स आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड बिजनेसेस वाई बिजनेसेस बिकॉज अवर न्यू जनरेशन अवर इंटरप्रेन्योर्स अवर इंजीनियर विद नॉलेज इनोवेशन दे आर ट्राइंग टू सेटअप देयर ओन बिजनेस इन यू एस ए कैनेडा एंड ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड विद इन पाकिस्तान ऑल्सो तो वी विल नाउ अपलोड द वीडियोज ऑन ऑल ऑफ दीज टॉपिक्स today's topic is from the power generation and the buzzword is you know nowadays is artificial intelligence now artificial intelligence is in use or is being applied for now more than a decade or two decades but in uh, countries like uh, our country pakistan or the third world countries it is not very common but we must know about this because we have to make ourselves capable of handling the interviews or the jobs all over the world including the middle east usa north america australia and europe germany is also has become a nice place for getting a job and immigrating and education now this td consultant you will see that uh, it a uh, lead generation and it service provider and training in all the areas and there is a disclaimer please go through it that this is not an advising channel you must consult in the related consultant in that area in the on that subject you must consult the latest literature from the big and authentic manufacturers manufacturers and the teaching material available on the net but you must be able to find out that what is wrong and what is incorrect and what is right because in net internet i have experienced that there are a lot of things which are not correct similarly if you use chat gpt i have tried myself it gives wrong answers i i i searched on chat gpt about the distance relay about the protection of generator and believe me it gave me wrong answer and then when i uh, wrote that uh, do you think it is correct and i uh, wrote down my opinion then uh, answer was sorry sorry that was an old uh, phenomena and now uh, you are right etc so please be careful don't depend on the meta ai or the chat gpt for technical solutions for technical information it may be very very dangerous you may lead you may uh, believe that this is the correct answer but that is not i tell you my personal experience not from the theory only so now let's move forward and see that how can we uh, use the ai in power generation so why artificial intelligence because ai applications enhance your system reliability this you know efficiency you know reduction is cost or optimization in generation optimization in transmission and distribution and finding out the real time solutions by using the real time data monitoring predictive maintenance etc so there are a lot of things where artificial intelligence is being used very very effectively so for your preparation for the jobs all over the world if you are immigrating to especially north america or you are trying to get a job in middle east you must know the latest development in the field of electrical engineering it is uh, i am very sorry to say and admit that these topics are still not part of the effective teaching at the even undergraduate level in pakistan i don't know about india or bangladesh but in pakistan i know that these topics are not being effectively taught in the engineering universities all over pakistan now number 1 is the pre 
addictive maintenance. Please excuse me for my accent because I am a Urdu speaking person and uh, therefore I am not very skilled on this uh, accent. So AI powered predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance means that you should be able to predict that what maintenance must be carried out in coming week, coming month or a year, etc. Et the maintenance lists are usually provided by the manufacturer, but those are the just indicative lists. We must be proactive. We must be proactive. We must be able to predict that what maintenance will be required and how much delay can be um, afforded if you do, cannot shut off the electricity or the power to the customers. Now, therefore, artificial intelligence application has now become very common in the maintenance of transformer. Transformer then, now you know that they are now known as the smart transformer. I have a lecture on that as well. And the, the smart transmission lines and the grid enhancement technologies, etc. So now we come to the next point that we are in the generation area. So this is for the power plant as well, that for the power plant, for the machine, we must be able to predict that what maintenance is required by utilization of real-time sensors and collecting the data and analyzing by the artificial intelligence methodologies. So optimization of power plant. So you are you will be able to optimize the generation of the power plants and the use of fuel, you will be able to do the economic load dispatching that will reduce the emissions, that will save your energy, that will save your cost, that will increase your life of the particular uh, power plant or the alternator or generator. Now, renewable energy, this integration is now very, very common. It's the demand of the time. So you, you must be able to use that energy very efficiently when it is needed, when it is not needed, when can we use it to you for the elimination of the congestion or where we can save the energy, the fossil fuel elimination by use of the renewable energy. So this can be also very effectively achieved when we use the artificial intelligence tool. Now energy, energy forecasting, very common. This is a long, long time. It was done using the software and um, these are the loads are to be forecasted for uh, at least 10 years and then yearly also they are reviewed. So energy forecasting is very important and this is to uh, plan the commissioning and the installation of the new power plants. So that will reduce your cost you may not need or you may need. So that can also be done by using the artificial intelligence tool very effectively. We will not go what is artificial intelligence, what is that algorithm, that is the part of the curriculum of the uh, our computer scientists and computer engineering students. But at least we know the application. Why the application is important for electrical engineer and electrical technologist. But to go into how it functions, it is not our area, it is not our domain. So don't get confused that we don't know anything about the artificial intelligence, fuzzy logic, and the uh, generative uh, artificial intelligence. Forget about that. Now these points are important if you are appearing for interview or if you are working in a utility in North America and Middle East especially. In Pakistan, maybe nobody will ask you, but if there are some uh, people who know um, about it in Pakistan, they may ask you in the interview in NTDC and discourse, but it will be very, very rare. You know the reason why. Now, condition monitoring, you can monitor the equipment, the health of the equipment. Monitoring means health of the equipment by using the data and then analyzing through the artificial intelligence methodologies like you want to find out the condition of the transformer. Your data may be collected 
uh, the gas data, the oil data, and the gases can be collected and monitored. And then you can analyze by using the artificial intelligence. Now, automated control, that is very important. Your load dispatching, the system control, that will reduce the uh, load on the generator and better scheming, better uh, scheduling can be done using the AI uh, methodologies or the algorithms. Now, energy storage optimization, you know now there are batteries and the super batteries, capacitor batteries, and things like that, which can reduce the cost and you can energy the store. Which energy you can energy store? You can store the wind and solar energy for those times when they are not available. So that can also be done effectively. Now, grid management means the management of the whole of the grid. That is the load flow management, the loading on the individual generator, loading and diversion of the load from one plant to another, one machine to another, load shifting from one tra transformer to another one, one line to other one, the extension, the shutdown of the lines, everything can be managed. Here, grid management means the management of the complete network, including the generator, transmission, and distribution also sometime. Now, detection means that you can identify the faults, that where is the fault, you can uh, improve the downtown uh, downtime. You can uh, improve the indices. I will cover the indices in uh, four or five lectures. What are indices? I started calculating the indices uh, in 2008 when it was not mandatory by NEPRA. The people know, engineers know in k -Electric that I started uh, this, um, cal this calculation and trained the engineers there in 2008. So it was not uh, demanded by the NEPRA and k -Electric, uh, did not use uh, that before that. So that is on record. You can find out my from my junior engineer. Now, sustainability is a very common term. You must be analyzed to see that your generation is uh, sustainable. You can uh, economically sustainable. It is a uh, stable and you can optimize. Optimize means what? Optimization means that the, to use the resources very, very efficiently, economically, that is known as the optimization. The use of your resources, human resources, the machinery resources. So all these you can do. Now, here is a short summary, short of our uh, services, which our company provides, for which I am now working. Uh, now, this is a B2B lead. Services, you can see here, many services written, you can contact at this email address here. We also provide training and then IT services. I also write the contents of the website. I also write the posts for the ads on Facebook and other social media. But all these things are being handled, not by me, but a team uh, who is uh, uh, skilled and highly educated in this area. We have the PhDs in this area, in the IT area. So this is all for now. It has been a uh, no long time with you. Please subscribe my channel, share this, like this channel, so that I, uh, I am encouraged and I continue to uh, record the new videos. You see, due to your encouragement only, I am able to record the new videos now almost every day I upload at least one, two or three videos. So this is only due to my uh, listeners, my student, my colleagues who keep on encouraging me and asking me uh, questions. So every question I may not be able to answer because uh, nobody can answer each and every question, but I try to uh, do that in my limits. Thank you very much. Please, once again, uh, I thank you very much in advance for subscribing and liking my channel. So you will see many, many videos in the coming days on various topics, I, as I told you earlier in this video.